as I want. This is another six star of video. I saw the comment below my YouTube channel. One of the audience asked me if I can explain the six stuff dynamics equation of motions. And this is the topic of this video. Today, we are going to talk about the six stuff dynamics, which is its equations of motions. Two simple examples are provided uh, to show the analysis and calculation. And lastly, an interesting real-world effect, which is called DE effect, is demonstrated to give you more idea about six stuff dynamics. This website link is provided in the description of the YouTube videos. The six stuff dynamics of rigid body are all governed by the following equations which is the force equation and the torque equation. Uh, without further ado, let's look at the very interesting D effect. So see, the T object seems to flip its head while it is rotating. This is a uh, phenomenon first discovered by Russian cosmonaut in space, and it was kept in secret because of its strange or bizarre behavior. However, I want to show that this counterintuitive effect is actually governed by the same six stuff equations motions we have been always using. And this is the simulation. So you can see that the head of the T body will flip as it is rotating around the red axis. So now let's look at the equations of motions. How uh, do we get the force and the torque equations? Okay. So actually the T is the time derivative, uh, derivative of a vector in rotating frame. This is the key. And here I provide some things for you to understand. Also, I provide my handwritten uh, explanation on the PDF. Uh, you can open the PDF on my website. Okay. I will not go into the detail because uh, the detail is in the PDF. Then let's uh, try to analyze and solve a simple uh, example, which is a spacecraft going in a circular motion. This is the description of the problem, and we want to solve uh, for the force and torque that required for this kind of motion. Using the six stuff uh, equations of motion, we can find uh, the solution solution. Again, uh, you can go to my PDF file to check for the complete analysis and calculation of this uh, example. Here, you can see. All right. Also, a MATLAB uh, simula simulation model is built to demonstrate this problem. Now let's move on to another example. Before we try to simulate a body in space, but what happens if we are going to simulate a quadcopter in normal gravity environment? Okay. Still, we will use the same six stuff equations of motions, but the only difference is the force and torque that can be generated by the vehicle. The quadcopter is limited because it can only generate a force along its Z body direction. Again, using the same six stuff equation of motion, we can find the solution here. Okay. 
If you want to know the detail of the analysis and the solution, you can go to my handwritten PDF. And you can see this is the solution. A second MATLAB uh, simulation model is also built to demonstrate the quadcopter in circular motion. The left one has a higher angular velocity and the right one has a lower angular velocity. You can see that the raw angle for the left one is much higher than the right one. And you can easily uh, see why from this, from the solution. And note here, it is interesting that aside from the thrust, the quadcopter should also generate a torque in order to maintain its constant roll angle. But what would happen if we don't provide this torque? The following simulations show that if the vehicle doesn't generate any torque, it will drift away from the constant radius circular path because its roll angle cannot be maintained. So now, I think we are prepared to understand the counterintuitive D effect. We can understand this effect using the quadcopter example. Remember, if the vehicle doesn't generate the torque, it will uh, deviate from its path, which means that it will rotate in another axis which is what actually happened in space. In space, the T-shaped body doesn't generate any torque, so there is no external, external torque acting on it. And this is what occur for the flip uh, phenomenon while it is spinning. However, there are some uh, special condition for this effect to occur. Okay. I won't go into the detail, but uh, there is the condition for the rigid body's uh, moment of inertia, and there is also another condition for its rotating axis and its principal axis. The following simulations show that when will the D effect not occur? Because of the configuration of the rigid body, and also the spinning axis. So I point out this effect because this effect is so interesting. It seems to violate the Newton's law, but it is Newton's law that governs this effect. Again, if you want to see the detail and the complete uh, analysis and the solution of this D effect, please refer to my handwritten PDF. So lastly, if you want to get the MATLAB projects used on this page, you can contact me. You can contact me by my email. And the handwritten PDF is provided here. You can download it. It is open. And lastly, if you appreciate my work and want to support me, you can sponsor me via my PayPal link. Okay. Thank, thank you very much. I really appreciate your support and see you next time.